Hello again on the Filter Forefront, our top four of the day, including if you don't like the way you smell, and if I don't like the way you smell, you better smell like nothing. But we'll start with this. If somebody commits a crime and they're in this country illegally, should they be booted out? It's a simple question. Should they be deported? Starting today, all inmates booked into the Orange County Jail will have their immigration status checked. If you don't belong here, you finish your sentence and then immigration authorities pick you up and off you go. Immigration officials say this system avoids concerns about racial profiling because everyone is checked. Critics say there is still racial profiling and concern that immigration agents deport people who don't have serious criminal convictions. Our contributors tonight, Doctor of Social Ethics Charlotte Laws and Gustavo Ariano, who writes Ask a Mexican for OC Weekly. Our pictures are furnished by Skype. And Gustavo, I'll start with you. If you shouldn't be here and you get arrested, should you be out of here? No, I, I don't think so. It's really easy to say, okay, if you committed a crime and you're in this country illegally, you should have never been here in the first place, therefore we should deport you. But guess what that strategy, uh, st strategy has created for Southern California? A bunch of gangs like MS-13. The reason why those gangs started was because we sent them back to their home countries. They created more chaos there. And then because of the chaos, more immigrants for those countries came up here to the United States. I'm all for being tough on crime, but if we think that somehow sending back criminal illegal immigrants back to their country somehow going to deter crime, we're in for a very rude present in a couple of months. Well, let me jump in and ask you a quick question before we get to Charlotte. But if you don't send them back and they commit a crime in this country, what do you do with them? You know what? That's a good question. I propose we send them to Australia or South Africa or other countries, <laughs> other countries that were created specifically for criminals. I'm sure those countries would welcome them with open arms. Charlotte, what do you think? Well, I think this program is a step in the right direction, but I think it knows, needs to go further and include everyone who is here illegally, not those only who have had contact with immigration services. I do agree, though, with Gustavo that there is a problem in the fact that 73% of those who are criminal aliens that we deport come back over the border and are rearrested within the first year. So we need to take away the incentives. So individuals don't want to come here illegally. We need to take away the social programs. We need to get rid of the anchor baby law. We need to make oh, those I'm changes. an anchor baby. Hello, I'm an anchor baby. We all came out okay. <laughs> I was. My, I, dad, my dad was in this country illegally when I was born, and guess what? We turned out okay. Well, I'm not saying that people don't turn out okay, but we have people who are doing it the right way, who are waiting in line, going through the process. It's simply not fair to let people break in line. And so I think they should be abiding by the laws. And I also think it's a good time for this program to be put in place that they're doing in Orange County because we have uh, prisoners being released in the state of California. And we also have a potential that we will have a decline in law enforcement due to our, our, our budget problems. So therefore, it makes more sense to be getting those who are doing illegal acts out of the country as soon as possible. Okay, let's move on here. If I was a betting man, I would bet the television ratings for this year's Masters Golf Tournament are gonna set a record. It's official. Tiger Woods is back. He picked the showcase event in the sport to make his return. Some will watch to see how he plays. Some may watch to see if he's texting anybody. Most will watch out of curiosity. Tiger says he's returning to the sport, but still has a lot of work to do in his personal life. Everybody will have questions about what happened, but I'll also bet you reporters will be instructed not to ask. How should Tiger Woods conduct himself? Does he have an obligation to answer any and all questions, Charlotte? He has no obligation to answer any questions whatsoever. He went out with a bang. I think he should come back with a bang. I think the Masters makes sense in that in that respect. It's a place he's comfortable. It's a place he's won before. He's looking forward to getting his fifth green jacket, and then he's won away from Jack Nicklaus. I think it's a good place because there won't be as many press. There won't be as many spectators. There'll be fewer questions. It's a good PR move, and I think people are going to be pulling for him. They're going to be secretly wanting him to win and to do well. I think if he does well, he's just back on the road to total recovery. Gustavo, do you think people will be pulling for him? No, no, no. I think people are sickened by Tiger Woods. I, for one, am sickened by him. He, you know, he's he's an Orange County boy, so in that way, you know, while he was succeeding all the way through, we were proud of him, but his indiscretions, I agree, have nothing to do with the sport. He doesn't have to address them because it's his personal life, but I think at this point, people really don't care, nor do they want to hear what Woods is going through, nor are they going to pull for him. If, if they win, it'll, it'll be like uh, Michael Jackson getting another uh, number one hit record. Part of you is happy that he came back, but the other half, it was still Michael Jackson. In this case now, if Woods you know, ties Jack Nicklaus, yeah, you, you can't go against uh, somebody who set such a great record, but at the same time, it's Tiger Woods. Blah. 
There's, yeah. there's so many people out there that cheat on their spouse, and I think people feel that Tiger Woods is being uh, criticized unfairly. Well, let me say this, Charlotte. Let me just say this about that. Yeah, his personal business is not our business, and I would agree with both of you there, but here's the thing, and, and I've said it before. Guy made 100 million bucks, and he made it on his image, portraying a certain image, presenting an image to people, and they buy into that. Now, I'm not saying you bought Gatorade because Tiger Woods was on the, the bottle, but nonetheless, that was the, the psychology behind it, and the reality is he misled people. You see, so what he did in his personal life is one thing, but the point of the matter is people might feel swindled. He's not what he presented himself to be. If he hadn't done that, no harm, no foul. Does that make sense to anybody? No, because no. you know, actors and actresses, they play certain types of parts, certain types of roles. Yeah, but he, that, they're not. No, 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 it's not. Not even close. They're not being compensated for their image. They're being compensated to portray a role. We know they're acting. When Tiger Woods is endorsing products, he's being paid because he is portraying himself a certain way, not acting. A well, I think, way. I think yeah. you're acting yeah. when you do that. I think you're acting. I really do. I think it's just Joe, like an acting job. Go ahead. Gustavo, to, to go, take the last yeah. word. Yeah, to go way in the past, Joe DiMaggio was a Yankee Clipper, this complete hero to everyone, but in real life, he was a jerk. No one ever got to him because of him being a jerk. They just accepted it as him being a jerk, but, you know, I don't know. It, 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 I, I don't it's agree. I don't, I don't like Tiger. A good example is Don Rickles, who has this really kind of mean, gruff exterior. Right. He is the sweetest guy in person yeah. that you would ever want to meet. But, a Mr. Nice. But, but he, all right, let me finish with this. But Don Rickles made a living with that gruff exterior. He made right. a living. That was the key. That's how he made his living. I know, but he was nothing like that in real life. That's Wait, what I'm trying to say. No, I understand that. But Tiger Woods was compensated for portraying a certain image. Okay, we got to move on. Here we go.